now. The most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with Chief Meteorologist Dale Nelson. Hi everybody, welcome back. Well, our lake levels actually stayed the same today compared to yesterday. Lake Corpus Christi 80% full is a good number, but Choke Canyon's only 26.5% combined capacity, 41.4, and the city's told us that this number has to get up to 50 before we would be out of water restrictions, but who's going to be watering anyway with this uh, going on? All right, Lake Texana had a nice rise from over 75% to almost 100% in one day. Very efficient water system up the road there near Victoria. 79 degrees here now, still 85 in George West, but temperatures won't drop a whole lot more with these persistent southeasterly winds coming off the Gulf of Mexico water. So breezy overnight, going to be windy here tomorrow and somewhat on Sunday. Here's a look at the future tracker. And again, the winds come down, but they're not calm in the morning and running about 10 to 15. So Mariners, not the best. Uh, it could be better, and uh, then tomorrow afternoon we're going to be up close to 20 with gust over a little over 30 miles an hour. On Sunday morning, again, we start out on the windy side at about 10 to 15, and then higher values in the afternoon, but not quite as high on Sunday. If you're going offshore, you'll find a little bit more inviting waters on Sunday afternoon than you will tomorrow. And then on Monday, the uh, winds continue to blow here on the breezy side across the region. Tropical satellite shows that all of the tropical moisture has left the area. The bright reds and oranges are gone, and we have cleared out. That'll lead to some fog here overnight, but not as much because the wind keeping the air stirred up, primarily out in Alice and areas where the ground is saturated away from the wind. Frontal system to the north stays north, and uh, unfortunately not making it anywhere near us nor will at any time soon. Scattered showers have moved into Mexico for us and the weather pattern is changing with dry high pressure coming in, making it hot, humid and windy for tomorrow. And it builds even further, so temperatures get a little hotter here on Sunday and extend further west back into New Mexico and the winds continue along with very high humidity. Mentioned the air was dry, water vapor showing mid and upper levels bone dry again. And that's what the dry high does and it's all started about a week ago when it moved away from us and off of us, but now it's coming back, so so is the dry air associated with that. So lots of sunshine. Use the sunscreen if you're going to be out this weekend. Future Tracker, of course, shows a few morning clouds, but lots of afternoon sun. On Sunday, more of the same, mostly sunny skies through the day. And then we'll see a few showers as actually picking up. I think this is a little overdone here. I just looked at this about five minutes ago and it wasn't there. But a, a little bit of shower activity here on Monday, but not much. We'll call it isolated in nature. How about the rainfall amounts? Well, uh, here we're only talking about uh, a few hundredths of an inch to about a half inch. Again, I think this is a little overdone on the latest model run that just came in literally about 45 seconds ago. Uh, low 80s through about 4 a.m. and south winds at 12. Highs tomorrow will reach 92, up from 89 here today, but as high as 98 in George West and 99 in Hebronville. But the heat index is really going to be a problem. Exercise all of the uh, necessary heat precautions. 111 in Alice tomorrow. 109 is what it's going to feel like here. And here is your NEC Co-op Energy seven-day forecast. 78 tonight, 92. Windy tomorrow. Windy on Sunday, 93. Less wind and isolated showers. There it is for Monday and Monday night. 93 on Tuesday and then 94 to 95 here Wednesday, Thursday and Friday of next week. So stifling heat. If you don't like the heat, you got a problem. But uh, hopefully you'll have a good weekend. Stephania and Priscilla. Well, you wouldn't like your time in South Texas. <laughs> All right, thank you.